My name is Mike DeLuca. I am President, CEO of Brow Regional Health Planning Council and the Chair of the Health Foundation of South Florida. I'd like to recognize Barbara Fonte. I'd like to recognize the Health Foundation staff. Would you stand up? And I'd also like to recognize the Homes for All staff, because this wouldn't happen without everybody. So today, when I got up this morning, I was watching the news, because if you're ever traveling to Miami, you want to know about the traffic. So it said there was an accident on 95, about 95th Street, and then all of a sudden they said on the news, there's going to be a health and housing summit today. So I was like, wow, we did it. So this is no easy feat. Um, housing is very important to the health of individuals, and I think we all know that. And hospitals have dove into social determinants of health, and housing is one of those. So this is a great opportunity to convene all the stakeholders, hospitals, insurance, the money people, the bankers, the reserves, and to get ideas on how to help remedy this issue. Because we know that home prices are astronomical, and also insurance. So with that in mind, I also, real quick, want to give out a shout out to all the advocates, because they do all the work here to help bring this to the attention and the forefront. So if you're an advocate for these kind of programs, please stand up. So in closing, I want to say we looking forward to all these percolating ideas on how to resolve some of these issues, and we're looking forward to all the next speakers and all the key things that come out. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Mike. Um, good morning. My name is Ana Castilla. I'm the Regional Community Development Manager for TD Bank. Um, it is my pleasure to welcome you here today on behalf of the Board of Directors uh, for Miami Homes for All, uh, of which I serve as president. And um, we're really looking forward to the program today uh, to talk about public, private, and nonprofit sectors and how we can continue to partner, uh, work together uh, to continue to find solutions for our housing and health challenges here in South Florida. It is wonderful, still I get very happy to see people in person. I'm still getting over uh, three years of not being able to uh, socialize. Uh, so it's wonderful to see so many of you here today and, and thank you uh, for coming out. So um, first let me start by extending an enormous gratitude to all of our sponsors and especially I want to point out our diamond sponsor, the John S. and James L. Knight Foundation, um, the Health Foundation of South Florida, our platinum sponsor and also our co-host for the event, and Wells Fargo, our gold sponsor. Um, I also want to acknowledge, sorry, yes, <laughs> running through that. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge our public officials and representatives that were going to join us, and I hope everybody is here. Uh, Kathy Burgos from the office of the County of Mayor Daniela Lavina Cava. I'm not sure if she's here. Excellent. Welcome. Alex Bayina, Director, County Department of Public Housing and Community Development. Uh, Jane Gilbert, Miami-Dade Chief Heat Officer. I know I saw Jane. Miami-Dade Public Defender, Carlos Martinez. Councilwoman for the City of Miami Gardens, Linda Julian. Welcome. And George Mensa, Director of City and of Miami Housing and Community Development Department. Is George here? I didn't see him. Okay, great. If I've missed anyone, please uh, pardon me. Uh, thank you also to the program speakers that traveled to join us today, and welcome to Miami. We cool things down a little bit for you these days. Uh, all of us are enjoying bringing out our winter clothing because it's in the 60s. 
And uh, for those of uh, speakers who are local, as Mike mentioned, thank you for braving the traffic to get out here today and join us. So I also want to thank Annie and Laureen and their wonderful teams and our board of directors at both uh, Miami Homes for All and the Health Foundation of South Florida for putting uh, together this summit. I know a lot of hours and thought have gone into the program and uh, I know that I'm looking forward to hear all of the wonderful um, discussions that we'll have throughout the day. So now, uh, as our first order of business, and forgive me if I read from notes, but I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, Miami-Dade County Mayor Daniela Levine Cava, who regrettably is not with us today because she's on a trade mission in Japan, uh, has shared a pre-recorded video for us. We are recognizing her work and dedication as a housing and health champion at this event. Mayor Cava has spent a career fighting for the housing and health of Miami-Dade's residents, first as attorney representing tenants at Legal Services of Greater Miami, uh, then as the founder and president of Catalyst uh, Miami, that's where I got to meet her many years ago, as a county commissioner for District 8 and now as our county mayor. During her first three years as mayor, she implemented the Homes Plan a multi-program initiative that included $85 million in housing investments, a new office of the housing advocate, and the creation of a housing funders collaborative. She also presided over um, a rental assistance program of $120 million during the pandemic, staving off eviction crisis that threatened the fabric of our community. And I know that that was an incredibly important program for so many people uh, here in Miami-Dade County. She's not only a champion and a leader, uh, Daniela actively seeks partnerships to accelerate innovative solutions and anyone who's worked with her um, or seen her in action knows this. And she values the work and the perspectives of community-based organizations and residents, evidenced by her outstanding record in conducting community outreach every budget cycle, and at the start of her term through the Thrive 305 survey. Perhaps most importantly, as anyone who knows Daniela, she is an individual who has a huge heart. She deeply and genuinely cares about each and every one of us, especially those that are disadvantaged in our community. As they say, she gets it. She has made great strides already, and we know there is much more she is yet to accomplish. So please join me in congratulating and thanking Mayor Levine Kava. Hello, Miami Housing and Health Summit. I'm your County Mayor, Daniela Levine Cava. I wish I could be with you all in person. Safe, quality housing and positive health outcomes go hand in hand and are essential to our shared prosperity and a sustainable future for South Florida. Expanding the availability of affordable housing is one of the top priorities for my administration and we're tackling this head on, especially through our innovative programs like the Building Blocks Plan and the Homes Plan. The Buildings Blocks Plan is a two-pronged approach to provide immediate relief and increase the supply of affordable and workforce housing. To provide relief, we opened and expanded the Office of Housing Advocacy. We allocated more funding for ERAP, the Emergency Rental Assistance Program, and we started the Eviction Diversion Pilot Program in partnership with many on-the-ground community organizations to provide legal assistance to tenants. And at the same time, we're aggressively increasing the supply of affordable and workforce housing. We're building more every day. Miami-Dade County has committed to develop or renew 32,000 units of affordable and workforce housing, all of which are expected to either be completed or to secure their financing by the end of this year. And through our rapid transit zones, we're encouraging upzoning and affordable housing near transit. 
I'm honored to address this room of housing advocates whose work and input has been critical to shaping these county programs. It's an honor to have worked in collaboration with you for many years. And our health systems are an essential piece of the puzzle too. At a time when many healthcare workers themselves are feeling the crunch of the nationwide housing crisis, many health systems are providing apartments to employees or finding ways to partner with developers. Our health systems see firsthand the effects of this crisis, whether by treating people experiencing homelessness or addressing the issues that come from housing instability, like lacking access to proper medical care. And finally, I'm so proud to accept the 2023 Housing and Health Champion Award. I humbly accept this award with the promise to continue fighting for safe and stable housing in Miami-Dade County. We're on track to achieve our goals, making major investments in securing more state and federal funding. But to see true change, we need collaboration. That's why with your partnership, I'm confident that we can solve this crisis and build a housing secure, resilient and prosperous future. I wanna give one final thank you to co-hosts Miami Homes for All, Executive Director Annie Lord and the Health Foundation of South Florida and CEO, Laureen Chant and keynote speakers, Ron Book and David Erickson. Now I wish you a great summit.